So my new Tracer charge controller came in. This thing is actually quite a bit bigger than I thought it was. Um, pictures and videos, it actually looks pretty small. But uh, this actually is a pretty large unit. Like I'll show you guys in comparison to the other ones I got. Alright, so here's another one. There you go. That gives you a good comparison. It's quite a bit bigger. So, yeah. I'm going to be taking uh, one of those down, putting this up, just to try it. And I think I can use the old meters, maybe not. No, it doesn't look like it. This, is, this one's got more buttons, so... i swap that out and try it out. So there it is installed. It's quite a bit bigger, the unit. Not quite as deep, but quite a bit bigger. Um, I like the display a lot nicer, so here's the old display. That's all you saw on the front page, and then this this one gives you everything you need to know on the front page. Where this one you had to cycle, so this is panel voltage, uh, load, and power, uh, and also the temperature. So yeah, I, I like this a lot actually. Oh, we'll see. I'm going to uh, put a load on it, so it's going to be loud here for a sec. If I can get this thing to, uh, it's too full, it won't turn on. Okay, maybe I'll put another load on it. I'll cut back in a second. Alright, I put a 300 watt load on it. Now, 27.4 amps, 29. It is, uh, sun is going down, so I'm not going to get full power. It seems to be doing really well. Still, wow. That is putting enough power into the batteries by itself to keep this 300 watt light going. And it's staying at 14.4 volts awesome and the batteries are still floating so I need to put uh, more load on this thing all right this is with 600 watts of load on it now battery bank is going down in voltage it's putting out I was almost putting out 40 amps still that's incredible sorry I got interrupted there for a sec but uh, so we're putting out its max there pretty much uh, 16 amps on the solar 40 Almost 40 amps coming out of the unit. It's not warm yet. And again, I just started this test, so it has quite a bit of time. It has a lot more um, cooling on this than the old ones do, that's for sure. Um, I like it better so far. I like the display a lot better, and I like how you can customize. I'm going to customize my uh, float voltage, my boost voltage. Uh, I'm gonna shut the equalization off because I'm dealing with gel batteries. Um, you could actually use this for charging uh, lithium uh, batteries with uh, BMS systems because you could limit this to, uh, say, like a, a 12.6 volts uh, for lipo or a lithium ion or anything like that. And uh, I actually just might do something like that someday. Uh, one thing about these: these are just dummy controllers. They work extremely well, but uh, this is going to be a much more versatile. I might replace both of mine with these and sell these. I'm not sure. We'll find out. But uh, one thing about these, the gel battery setting is a, a little bit high voltage for me. I'm not very happy with it. Like, uh, this is a gel. Well, right now this battery, this charge controller uh, is not... Well, it says it's floating, but it's not actually floating. Um, anyways, uh, but yeah, it's still keeping the battery voltage up between these two controllers. They both still say they're floating, so man, that's incredible. But anyways, I'm going to toy with the settings. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just a comparison of these two. They're both 40 amps each direct comparison between old and new.